Hi there. Now, if you have been tasked with organising mental health training for managers within your organisation, but you're not sure where to start or what to even include in that training, then this video has been designed for you. My name is Sarah Maud. I'm the founder of the Mind Solution International, and we have trained hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of managers all across the globe in how to manage mental health within their teams. So let's start by understanding what is mental health training for managers? Well, put really simply, mental health training for managers is about giving your managers a greater understanding of the human psyche, helping them to understand cause and effect. What is it that takes a team member from being okay to not being okay, and how do they recognize that? What's the difference between one of their team just having not such a good day, and we all have days that are maybe not so good. What's the difference between that and something being classed as a mental health condition? Also understanding that people go through life events. They go through what I refer to as human experiences. And that can be anything from a bereavement, a health condition, things that are going on in their personal life that might be concerning their children. Maybe they're going through a difficult time in their relationship. Maybe they're going through divorce. All of these kind of life events that have the potential to impact us, to impact the way that we show up as individuals mentally, physically, and emotionally. So what's the difference between people going through life events versus something being considered as a mental health condition? Now, the mental health spectrum is vast. You know, at one end of the spectrum, we have got stress, we've got burnout. We have anxiety, we have depression, we have addiction, and we have more complex mental health conditions such as schizophrenia, psychosis, multiple personality disorder. And a lot of individuals that are tasked with organizing mental health training for their managers are not sure how much of the mental health spectrum to cover. So my advice, depending on the kind of organisation that you work in, and also the kind of cases, the kind of situations that you've found your managers dealing with within the organisation, my suggestion is that you do not attempt to cover the whole spectrum. It is not needed as a manager to have a really in-depth understanding of all these different mental health conditions. In fact, if you try to cover the whole spectrum, you'll have the risk of overwhelming your managers. Because mental health training for managers is not about turning them into mental health experts. It's not about giving them a PhD in mental health, but it is about giving them an understanding, a basic understanding of mental ill health and how it can impact their team members. And more importantly, how best a manager can support an individual in the event that they are struggling? How do they recognize the signs that somebody really is struggling? And what's the right action to take? What's the appropriate action to take? And again, within the mental health spectrum, each of these different mental health condi conditions have their own spectrum. So anxiety isn't just anxiety. You know, people, that struggle with anxiety, they have days where it's easier to manage the anxiety. They have days when things actually seem okay, they feel calmer, they feel more grounded in their bodies. And then they have days when they're really struggling with that. 
And it's my intention that with mental health training for managers, that we help managers to look beyond the labels of mental health, that they don't just see the label of anxiety or stress or depression, for example, and think that everybody that's struggling with these conditions, it, it's a one size all approach because it really isn't. You know, if you think about a scale of naught to 10 and think about stress as maybe a good example, you know, I'm sure that every single one of you watching this video has probably experienced some stress in your life. And if you haven't, then you need to come and be one of our trainers. But if we think about that scale of naught to 10, you know, not everybody's going to be at a 10 all of the time. You know, depending on where their mindset is, depending on how they've been taking care of themselves holistically, they might find that some days they find it easier to cope than other days. So for me, it's about helping managers to look beyond the label. And whilst it is helpful to give managers more of an insight into these conditions, it isn't about giving them a PhD in mental health. So if you're wondering how much of the spectrum to cover within your training, I would suggest that you focus on what we might consider as the more common mental health conditions that your managers are likely to deal with within their team. So stress and burnout, absolutely cover the neuroscience of stress because not only will it help them to support their team, the chances are that it's going to also support them as individuals. We have had so many managers that have gone through our training that have said, gosh, I've just realised I'm in the stress response and they didn't know it. So absolutely covering the neuroscience of stress, covering anxiety. Now there are different types of anxiety. We have trauma, we have OCD, we have um, social anxiety, you've got fears, you've got phobias. And again, we don't need to go into all of those in detail, just understanding what anxiety is, cause and effect, and again, the most helpful ways to support those people and how to spot the signs, how to identify that somebody is struggling. Now, depression, we have depression and we have bipolar. Now, again, depending on your organisation, depending on the data that you've gathered about what people are struggling with, if you can obtain that data, you might decide, actually, we don't need to cover bipolar. You know, there are some organisations that we've worked with that actually had a really high caseload of people that were um, diagnosed with bipolar. So it was right that we covered bipolar with, as part of that training. You know, we've spoken to other organisations where they've had a number of people that have struggled with lots of different types of addiction. And so again, it was relevant to the training. So I wouldn't suggest making your management mental health training a one size fits all approach. Look at what it is that your managers need. And a really simple way to understand that is to actually ask them. I'm often really surprised when it comes to having conversations with people that have been tasked with this training, how very few have actually asked managers what would be helpful? What are you struggling with? What is it that you need? And if you can obtain that data, then I would suggest that data is incredibly valuable at helping to scope out that training. So not feeling the need to cover the whole of the mental health spectrum. Now, a lot of organizations often raise the question about suicide and whether it's right to cover suicide as part of that mental health training. And quite often, and sadly and tragically in a lot of organizations, they have had cases of suicide. My advice, take it or leave it, would be not to cover suicide training within mental health training for managers. I would suggest that suicide training is a very specific area in itself. And again, thinking about the impact that you want to have on your managers, if we start to get into the 
topic of suicide, it's maybe just a little bit too much to try and cover that in addition to mental health training for managers. So my advice would be that if you've not done any kind of mental health training with your managers is baby steps baby steps let's get the basic foundation in place and then you can build on that so once they've understood more about what we mean by mental ill health and again how best to support then you can look at running suicide training for managers in your organization at a later stage now Another question that often comes up is how long should the training be? And time, time is the one thing that we cannot buy. And again, it will come down to you as an organisation in terms of how much time do you have? You know, I could have managers in a room for a week covering mental health training for managers, but that's not practical. So it's really understanding what is it that you're trying to achieve with your training and how much time have your managers got? And also, what's your budget? You know, if you've got a thousand managers that you need to put through some of this training, maybe you need a bit more of a creative approach. Maybe, for example, um, you know, something that we offer for organisations is to pre-record some of the training, which actually can be really helpful as a valuable resource within an organisation. Because when it comes to learning, when it comes to what is it that we need to really embed and integrate that learning, well, we need to hear something more than once. So if we can pre-record something for you that managers can refer to time and time again, that can be incredibly helpful because managers aren't always dealing with mental health all the time. So if they've not dealt with a mental health issue within a team member for a while, or this is the first time in dealing with something, then if they've got a resource that they can go to and they can refresh their memory about some of the key elements, the key components of the training, that can be incredibly valuable. So it might be that you want to take that approach and that you want your training to really focus on skills, on listening skills, on helping managers navigate the conversation, the things that they um, should say, the kind of questions that would be really helpful to ask in these conversations, how to create connection, how to create um, an experience which feels psychologically safe for that person. And that's the thing with mental health training is it's not set in stone. It really is about what's going to be of value. Because as an organisation, you might have done loads of work with your managers already on listening skills, on coaching skills. And therefore, actually, as part of the training, you don't need to go into it in the kind of depth that you would have if you'd never done that training. So you might want to focus more on the actual mental health aspects. So it really is like a blank canvas. It really is about thinking, what is it that you need? And if you work with us, we will guide you on that. We will ask the right questions so that we can produce something that is going to meet your needs. And for a lot of really big global organisations that have got a lot of managers to train, the, it's not feasible for them to take everybody out for even half a day, let alone a day. So it could be that some of that training is pre-recorded and then some of the actual live training, especially if it's online and it's global, then that might just be 90 minutes but 90 minutes where it's incredibly interactive. And that's one thing that I would say actually, is when it comes to the training and thinking about the numbers of managers, 
If you are looking at training managers and you have maybe only got about 90 minutes to train a group of managers, is to just be aware that this is a topic that raises lots and lots and lots of questions. So for example, if you've got about 20, 25 managers per group, then let's imagine that six or seven of them have got quite a lot of questions that they want to ask, which is great because there's so much value that comes from answering those questions, but that's going to eat into your actual content delivery time. So lots and lots of things to think about, but it doesn't have to be as complex as it might sound. It is really about thinking of your organization. What are the kind of um, people issues, the kind of cases that you've experienced maybe over the last 12 months? Asking your managers what would be of greatest benefit to them and thinking about some of the previous training that's already taken place that we can either refer to or we can just point to as a reference so that we're tying all of these skills set up. Because it's my view that what is the most value is those managers, how they actually have that conversation. And they don't need to understand mental health at a deep level to be able to have a really effective an empathetic conversation that has a positive impact on a member of staff. So hopefully this has given you some food for thought. It's got you thinking about some of the key components within the mental health training. The other thing that you might want to consider, again, depending on how much time is a factor, is some of the Um, elements of employment law. So for example, in the US, we have the Americans with Disabilities Act. In the UK, we have the Equality Act 2010. And quite often within our training, we have a short section that raises the awareness of managers of what these acts are, and also what their responsibilities are within those acts. So for example, making work accommodations or reasonable adjustments for people that are struggling with mental health. And your mental health training can be as interactive as you want. And again, that's going to come down to time. So a lot of the organisations that we work with, especially when we're delivering online training, we break it into specific modules so that we can really focus in on each specific skill set, each nugget of information and making it as interactive because words don't always teach, but experience does. So some of the listening exercises and the solution-focused coaching exercises are the absolute gold dust for managers because they have something really, really practical that they can take away with them. Now, if you've got any questions on anything that I have covered, then please just drop them into the comments box and I absolutely promise to respond in the best way possible. And if you would like to find out more about our mental health training for managers, then do drop us a line at the details contained within this video. Bye-bye for now.